Cool, so we're here with Damien Moss, the winner of our first Team Dog on Go format tournament. Uh, after a crushing 3 0 victory over Finn Lloyd. 2 0. No, it's definitely 3 0. We did. Definitely, definitely 3 0. Um, so he played regular Go basically, right? Uh, it, it's mainly a standard Go at least, but I've got a couple of cool cards, I guess, in there. No, no one really cares, but alright. <laughs> alright, here we go. We got go. straight to the deck profile. Here we go. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so, two moth, uh, yep. two merchant, light monsters, level. and. You put the cards around? Oh, yeah, true. I'm doing no, like don't that. No, don't pull a Hong Nim. Yeah, like, you, you just refused to put them around. <laughs> yeah. That was so awkward, dude. That was the best deck profile ever. Um, so, I played two moth, two merchant, flip effects, serpent is amazing. Um, you got your sand game. Yep. Reaper? Yep. Also one is there a reason you played the Reaper in format where Xarion is played? Doesn't that yeah. card just get like fucked in the ass by Xarion? Yeah, <laughs> like a bit. Okay, so I thought it'd be like a lot of Chaos Goats and stuff as well, which I was. Uh, basically, I like Reaper because uh, it can be played aggressively if I can like clear their board and knock their card first one and then rip the card of their hand, or I can just be defensive with it and then like, protect it with traps against Xarion. So I thought that was my logic, but I probably wouldn't have played it if I didn't have a CP version. But that was the main reason I played it. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good to flex the CP. Yeah, CP well, Reaper. That was the most. Yeah, yeah. Alright, all right. I can respect that. That's respectable. Yeah. Um, this is another cool card. I played one Kaiku. Okay. So, because our locals, I guess, did have a lot of uh, Chaos Goats, yep. uh, I actually meant to side the other two Kaiku, but I just forgot to put them in. But I am one, the one made that Kaiku, I it's like putting a lot of work. Like not, they're not being able to banish cards and like getting rid of their shit as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Two Xarian, uh, third one's in the side. Why did you start the third one? So, basically because I wanted to side out my dust shoots when going second and I wanted something decent to put in. Oh, and right. it was either gonna be it was either gonna be third Xarian or the Kaiku and I thought Kaiku was just decent, like cool. going decently. Also I only had two secret rares and so That's definitely that's definitely a smart yeah. choice, honestly. I wouldn't yeah. want to play with mismatching rarities. Uh, Tutsuk. But he's playing with mismatching what rarities the fuck right now. Man? Yeah. This, is like, this, is like, this is like contradiction in the deck profile yeah, right here. Look, it's kinda like pretty awful. Fuck you, Holy at least I, look, at least I didn't finish second like Finn uh, and lose to contra uh, different rarities. Uh, Trap infecting, it's your dark hole, breaker, it's your it's MST. Gold. Is that a gold breaker? No, it's an ultra first <laughs> MST breaker. It's not even TP super. Oh fuck, you got me. It's on TP ultra misprint. Uh, Ain't yeah, yep. That's one tribute monster. It's unlimited. And Zaborg, which is it's another tree monster. So it's, not, it's not an ultra first. This card doesn't seem good, but it is really good. Uh, just be able to pop face downs. Yeah, that's not All the other ones come in ultra. So just pops face downs, pretty good. Uh, BLS. Yep. Do you need to explain it? Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain in depth? What does this card do? Can you, no, no, uh, so that fucking meme is terrible. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, these cards are all fantastic, so I played them. Yeah, these are just standard good cards, yeah. <laughs> Play. I have to meticulously explain uh, every single thing. Yep. Knock. Yep. Is there a reason you only opted for two book? Um, uh, it's like not always a plus one, sometimes a minus one, so I thought it's okay but not amazing. That's respectful. Silk does the same thing. Uh, two and two. So that yep. was really good because three of either is really shit and clogs a lot. Yep. Um, but yeah. I personally think Scapegoat's terrible in an Xara and format, just me though. Yeah, uh, it's. I don't know, it's been, yep, it was yep, really yep. good today. It was good today. Everyone has their own preferences. Uh, I mean, are more amazing goat cards. Yay. Yeah. This, right. this card was sick because you can chain it and bring back your Sangan when they MST it because they, if they're bad. Yeah. Um, double sack and double dust shoot in the main. Yep. Is there a reason you didn't play three? Um, I started the third one because I figured I'm. Um, I don't know. It's really bad late game, but really good early game. Is there a reason you played it all main deck instead of opting to decide out where every time you know you're going first? Um, I think this card's just nuts. Like being like, when you're a, when you can like do something in a format like this where you can do something with what you know of their hand, it's just. Yep. Gives you a big advantage. I mean, congratulate you winning every dice roll, evidently. No, I, I literally <laughs> lost every dice roll except one. It was so bad. Uh, extra, extra deck to roll, just your side deck. Uh, side deck. And extra deck was just fucking four goats and just like nothing I summoned except for 2,000 eyes. Yep. Um, shout out to Sandwich. Um, very damaged. Very good cool. cut. Cool. Thanks, Demos, for that one. Uh, so yep. What did you decide the triple dust shoot for? I mean, um, dust okay, dust so, dust so I figured my main deck was good enough against like Goat Mirror and against uh, Chaos. So I mainly started heavily for Burn and Empty Jar because that was legal. So three dust was mainly just, uh, I guess if I still need to start that dust shoots, I'd one in, but mainly for Burn, which I didn't play any of. And dust shoot was what I was going first. Um, this was Empty Jar and other things that I thought of because there's not many great side deck cards this format. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't have any Necromains, right? Necromains. Oh, I, I did because Isaac Lim let me proxy them. So yep. 
I made an exception because yeah. it's just not on our proxy. So Necroman, yeah. if you, you guys don't know what this card does, basically when they when you're it's sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, it just ends their turn immediately. So it sucks if you're not playing against MP Jar. That's all. No, I, I played three by main deck today in case I get to it. Turn one. Yeah, that's fair. I just fuck him over. Honestly, I almost had this <laughs> against um, Brenton. He played like hand control. The fucking. Could have, yeah, actually. I thought about it. I was like, that's kind of too gimmicky. Yeah. <laughs> um, third Xaron for when I set out my dust shoots. Uh, Vortex. I don't even know why I didn't use this. I didn't use this. I didn't use these, but these were also for, this was for burn mainly, and this one was just because it's a good card. And, yeah, uh, that is Damien Moss. No way, dude! Shout out, man. I'm, I'm, I was getting. To that. I was actually getting. I was actually getting. To I was going to scan with your deck profile, buddy. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching. No shout out to Damien. Shout out to uh, Aziz Nasseri, who I work with. Uh, Matt Malco, who sent me three snapshots that I haven't checked yet. And uh, Honor Jezza for lending me the Kamongus at regionals, which I scrubbed out. But uh, yeah, cool. fucking trash. Yeah. And I, 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 you, you have a team, you have to shout out as well. Oh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Team Log. I check us out on Facebook. <laughs> See you later. Very active. Alright, cool. Thanks to Deck Profile, and remember to stay tuned for more future Team Dog Kong.